Hello and welcome to Droix. In this video we are taking a close look at a range of budget priced mini PCs which are ideal for the home and in the office. We will be running a series of benchmarks to cover all aspects of daily use from web browsing to office work. We have 7 budget priced mini PCs which we will be comparing. Let's first take a brief look at them. The B-Link U59 has an Intel Celeron N5095 processor with 8 gigs of upgradable RAM and 256 gig SSD. It has two HDMI ports for dual monitor display. The B-Link GK Mini features an Intel Celeron J4125 processor with upgradable RAM and SSD. It has two HDMI ports for dual monitor display. Next we have the first of two B-Link GK35 models. This model has an Intel Celeron N3350 processor. It has upgradable 4 gigs of RAM, built in 64 gig storage with an additional M.2 SSD slot. It has two HDMI ports for dual monitor display. The second of our B-Link GK35 models has the J3455 processor with 8 gigs of upgradable RAM and 256 gig storage. It has two HDMI ports for dual monitor display. The first of our Mini's forum devices is the GK50, which has an Intel Pentium Silver N5030 with non-upgradable 8 gigs RAM and upgradable storage. It has a display port and HDMI port for dual monitor display. Our next device is the Mini's Forum JB95, which has an Intel Celeron N5095 processor with upgradable 8 gigs RAM and 256 gig storage. It has a display port, HDMI, and USB Type C for up to triple monitor support. Our final device is the brand new GMK Tech Lookbox 5, which has just landed on my desk as we were finishing up Lava Benchmarks. It features an Intel Celeron N5105 processor, upgradable 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. It's our smallest device measuring just 2.7 by 2.7 by 1.7 inches. We will now compare the technical specifications for each device. There's a couple of specifications to note. For RAM, the Minis Forum GK50 has built-in RAM and is not upgradable. For storage, the GK35 4GB model has built-in 64GB of eMMC storage, with a M.2 slot for additional storage. All devices, apart from the Nookbox 5, support an internal 2.5-inch hard drive or SSD. The two GK35 models cannot be upgraded to Windows 11, but the U59, GK Mini, GK50 and JB95 can be upgraded. And the Nookbox 5 comes with Windows 11 pre-installed. Our benchmarks cover all aspects of what you would expect from a budget PC. We start with Passmark, which performs a series of artificial tests to push the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their limits. This gives us a look at their best performance. Looking at the results, we can see that the GMK Tech Nookbox 5 taking a great lead, with the B-Link U59 and JB95 following. It is no surprise as they both feature the Intel Celeron N5095 CPU, which is the higher end processor in this budget range. But it's not as powerful as the N5105 found on the Nookbox 5. The Celeron N3350 found in the GK35 4GB is the lowest scorer and is also the lowest cost mini PC. Next in our benchmarks we are running PCMark which performs a more natural series of tests. These tests are more what you would expect to do in daily tasks which can be anything from web browsing, working with office documents or some light graphics editing. The scores are pretty much what we expected and follow the same pattern as Passmark in the highest to lowest scores. The Nookbox 5 leads again in the scores, with the U59 and JB95 much closer to it this time. The GK Mini and GK50 both have decent scores in this benchmark. Next we are testing the best reading and writing speeds for the device's storage using Crystal Mark. 
Having fast storage improves everything from Windows boot time through to opening software as well as loading and saving documents. The B-Link GK35 4GB model is benchmarked with the built-in 64GB eMMC storage. This will naturally be slower than the SSDs which the other devices feature. The benchmark results are much closer and overall the other six devices score in a similar area which is great to see. As part of our tests we check the fan noise and temperature for each device while it is running the Passmark benchmark. We are testing the noise in an average office environment so there is some background noise such as keyboard typing or quiet talking. At the time of making this video, the ambient temperature of the office was 19 degrees Celsius. The Minis Forum GK50 does not have a fan, as it is passively cooled. As a result, it does have a higher average temperature than other devices. If you want silence, then the GK50 is a great option. But to be honest, it was hard to hear the fan on any of the devices in a normal office environment. All but the Nook Box 5 come with Wi-Fi 5 and are connected to a Wi-Fi 6 access point which is around 3.5 metres away. We are testing on a 500 megs internet connection. The GK50 takes a stumble with lower than average scores. I did repeat the test and it resulted in the same speed. The other 5 devices with Wi-Fi 5 perform around the same area of speed and the Nookbox 5 takes the lead by far thanks to Wi-Fi 6. You could run the test a few times and get slightly different results but overall the speeds are great here. Here is a summary of the benchmark results to compare between the devices. If you are on a minimum budget then the GK35 4GB is fine for web browsing, media consumption and working with small to medium office documents. However, you are pushing the limits with anything else such as image editing for example. The GK35 4GB is not powerful enough and the performance is also limited with 4GB of RAM and the slower eMMC storage speeds. We would instead recommend opting for the GK35 8GB model which costs 20% more at 159 here we see performance increases of over 25% compared to the 4 gigs model which is a massive boost. You can really notice the difference in speed when seeing them side by side. We know that the GK35 4 gigs model falls quite far behind in terms of performance compared to the others. But do keep in mind that it is the lowest cost mini PC at just £130. To compare that with the Nookbox 5, which costs 63% more, you're getting a difference in performance of around 99%, which is amazing. Taking a look at the higher end of the budget scale, we have the B-Link U59, the Minis Forum GK50 and JB95, and the GMK Tech Nookbox 5. The Nookbox 5 overall takes first place in terms of performance, followed by the U59, JB95 and then the GK50. The Nookbox 5 costs £25 more than the U59 which is around 10% difference but it has between 7 and 18% more performance depending on the task. You also have the benefits of Wi-Fi 6 which offers amazing speeds and not forgetting the very small size. However this does mean that it's so small it can't fit a 2.5 inch drive inside. If extra storage is important then the U59 is a great choice and if having triple monitor support is a must then the JB95 is the only option for this. Our choice for the best and lower end of the budget range would be the B-Link GK35 8GB model. It has a great price and offers excellent performance in this price range. Our overall and easily the best performer in the budget range is the GMK Tech Nookbox 5. It offers excellent performance at an amazing price and it has an extremely small footprint making it portable for use anywhere. We hope that you have found this benchmark and comparison video useful in deciding which budget mini PC is right for you. We have a video playlist with in-depth reviews for all of the models. You can find a link to the playlist in the description. You can also learn more and buy any of the mini PCs mentioned today on our store at droix.co.uk and droix.net. 
Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our latest videos. And thanks for watching. We hope to see you back in our next video.